I'm not over exaggerating when I say this. What you're about to see is the first version of AGI. And if you don't believe me, just watch. The era of AI agents is here. The company Cognition AI just announced Devin, which is the world's first autonomous AI programmer. And we're going to look at the demo in a bit as well as what Andre Karpafi thinks about it. Devin is the new state of the art, has successfully passed practical engineering interviews from leading AI companies. This is huge. It's actually completing interviews that humans do. And it has even completed real job works on Upwork. We're getting to the point where AI agents can actually make you money. This is insane. But let's actually look at the demo because this is really interesting. I'm Scott from Cognition AI. And today I'm really excited to introduce you to Devin the first AI software engineer. Let me show you an example of Devin in action. By the way, I've already DM'd Cognition asking if Scott is down for an interview, so you can be excited for that. I'm gonna ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple of different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. Okay, so this is insane because before this, no other agent had nearly enough autonomy to do this. It tells it to compare three different APIs and this has to do everything else on its own. So watch this, watch this part because this is truly mind blowing. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. After that, it builds the whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these. This is what I meant. The combination of the own shell, of the ability to write code, the ability to plan, and the web browser, the combination of these different ones is how the magic is created. I mean, I, I don't want to spoil it, but just look at the LLMs, it's crazy. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. Here, Devin runs into an unexpected error. Now, an error like this would be enough to spot, stop every single previous agent, I mean, you have obviously AutoGPT, Baby AGI, all the famous ones. All of them would be stopped by an error like this completely. But look what Devin does. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement, reruns the code with the debugging print statement, and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. Like, isn't this insane? They only told it prompt to compare the speeds of three different APIs, and then it went out, browsed the web, found the APIs, found how to implement them, implemented them in Python code. This is the bottom right corner, as you can see here, benchmark.py. It's obtained API keys for them. Like, this is insane. This is actually a full software developer employee. Like, this is not just a tool. This is a full autonomous agent. Like, guys, like, AI agents are here. I mean, this is like perfect timing because right now I'm actually working on a big course for my community for AI agents, and it's gonna be dropping in the next four or five days. So if you want to be ahead of everybody because the price is gonna be increasing, make sure to join the community now. First link in the description. We have plenty of courses here, how to prepare for AGI, advanced ChatGPT course, and much, much more. And in the next coming days, there will be a complete step-by-step -step course on how to build and deploy AI agents. So if you're interested in that, make sure to join first link in the description. But let's continue with the Devin demo because this is actually one of the biggest, like this is way bigger than Sora and Sora was mind blowing. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. Guys, listen to what he just said. Like this is insane. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. <laughs> like so casually, like yeah, Devin decided to build and deploy full website with Visual, sky, uh, visual representation of the benchmark. It's like, like, what? This is computer code that is doing this. You can see the website here. All of this is possible today. Guys, all of this from a single prompt. If you wanted to test this manually, if you wanted to, if you really needed to test these three APIs and compare the token speed per second, like what? This is like at least 20 minutes tasks if you know what you're doing. I don't know how long this took, but I assume it was like a few minutes and it's automatic. So you can type the prompt, go to the toilet, come back and you have a hour long project completed. All of this is possible today because of the advancements that we've made in both reasoning and long-term planning. Look at this, look at this. Real world software engineering performance. So this is the SWE benchmark. Like to say that Devin destroys everything else is an understatement. Now, GPT-4 is much better, you know, over three times. Now, Claude 2, um, I'm pretty sure this is a mistake and this is Claude 3. I'm not sure, maybe it's actually Claude 2, but either way, it doesn't really matter because Devin is over three times better than anything else. And like, what is this? Almost 10 times better, like, and 
we've, we've seen a real demo. This isn't just, you know, pure benchmark graphs. It's aut autonomous. That's what matters. But we're super excited about the progress that we've made so far. In the meantime, if you'd like to try out Devon on your own real world tasks, send us a request below. And we yeah, so they will have insane in demand. Now, this is only one of the demos. As I said, they have multiple demos right here. And we're going to look at all of them because it is just mind blowing. And also we'll look at what Andre Karpafi thinks about it. Devin can learn how to use unfamiliar technologies. It's not just, you know, the stuff you program in. It can learn new stuff just like a person. So let's take a look at this demo. Hey, everyone. My name is Sarah. And I'm going to show you how Devin, our AI software engineer, can autonomously learn from a blog post. Within a few minutes, Devin successfully generated this ba desktop background image for me with my name on it. It's obviously not from Midjourney. It's probably from the Stable Diffusion. I, I forget what the fine tune uh, model is called. Within a few minutes, Devin successfully generated this path. Okay, so she confirmed the speed within a few minutes. It's not like it's running for 20, 30 minutes. Within a few minutes. So all I had to do was send this blog post in a message to Devin. From there, Devin actually does all the work for me, starting with reading this blog post and figuring out how to run the code. In a couple of minutes, Devin's actually made a lot of progress. And if we jump to the middle here, you can see that Devin's been able to find and fix some edge cases and bugs that the blog post. No, I, st I still can't get over the fact that it's able to fix its own bugs in real time. Like it, it would be completely useless. I mean, not completely, but it would be a hundred times less useful if it got stuck on some bug and then you had to go back, you know, look into it and like, yeah, okay, probably do this. And then it goes again and finds another bug. Like the more complex of a task you give it, the more bugs and errors it's going to run into. This obviously isn't like some insane task, but as you can see, it's still run into a few errors. If you had to interrupt and go back, check on it, you know, this is the main thing. It's autonomous and it's fixing its own bugs. You don't have to watch over it. You don't have to check on it. Man, we are actually living in the future. This is, this is wild. Did not cover for me. And if we jump to the end, we can see that Devin uh, sends me the final result, which I love. I also got two bonus images uh, here and here. So uh, let me know if you guys see anything hidden in these. Devin, okay. Um, dude, I have a 4K screen. I, I have to go back to see it. So this one says Devin and this one says, oh, cognition. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Now let's look at the second demo. Devin can contribute to mature production repositories. So it's not just small tasks from beginning. It can make progress on already, you know, companies that are already doing stuff. They already have advanced repos. Hey, I'm Neil. And I want to show you an example of Devin, our AI software engineer, helping me fix a bug. So I've been using this repo and I noticed this issue where when you take the log of a fraction, you get zoo. That's definitely wrong, but instead of trying to figure this out myself, I just asked Devin to take a look. Look at this. This is very nice. It gives you like a checklist of tasks it did. This is like the step-by-step -step reasoning or tree of thought where you break down a complex tasks into subtasks that are much more manageable. By the way, this is a productivity hack that even you can do if you feel something is overwhelming just break it down into small tasks now for the ai it's absolutely essential because it makes it a lot smarter devon then figures out the right part of the code and adds print statements um, in order to figure out what the cause of this issue is i don't know if they prompt engineer did to do this but it's basically you know tr trying to develop an understanding of the code which uh, i mean any human programmer should do the same right if you have an error that you don't know what's solving it, a bunch of debugging print statements will help you see where the code goes wrong. We can see here that the cause is that integer division leads to a zero, and then we take the log of zero. So based on that, Devin's able to fix the issue in the code by replacing that integer division with true wait, division. Wait, I want to see how to use that. I want to see how the UI is used. He clicked on this and then it pulled up the editor code by replacing that integer division with true division and then cleans up the debug output okay so wow you can click on the task and see exactly the part of the code that was d wow this this is amazing man i need to get access on devin asap they have so many requests i mean just in the last what it's literally like three hours ago it's already seven thousand likes this is like this is going absolutely viral let's look at it now 10k 10.5, like you can see the increase in real time. It literally was 300 followers 
two, two hours ago. Wow. I'll be very lucky if I get access to Devin then because the demand is insane. And verifies that the results is what we want. And then Devin even runs the test in the repo as well to make sure nothing else is broken. So that was great. Um, saved me a ton of time. Unlike the previous two tasks, I personally don't think I could do this, at least not in some reasonable amount of time frame. I mean, I could figure it out within a day or two, but not in, you know, one or two hours. The fact that it's able to do this in three, four minutes, that's insane. I mean, these demos keep only getting crazier and crazier because like this one was very simple, let's be honest, right? Pull up three APIs and test them. This one was a bit more advanced. I mean, it's AI image generation, right? This one is definitely the most advanced so far. Okay. <laughs> and it seems like they really are getting crazier and crazier. Devin can train and fine tune its own AI models. 100 million people use ChatGPT. That shows you the potential for Devin. I mean, the productivity increases we're gonna see are hard to imagine. All of us are really early. I know it's hard to imagine, and personally, I still feel like I'm late to the AI revolution, but we are all super, super early. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you an AI training an AI. So here we're gonna take the QLora repo, which is a fine tuning method for quantizing large language models. We're gonna feed this repo to our agent, Devin, and all we have to ask Devin is to fine tune a 7B Llama model. Seems like the workspace is really these four windows, right? On the top left, you have uh, where you interact with Devin, you give it prompts and you see the reasoning, the process, the tasks it's doing. Bottom left, this is the web browsing. If it needs to look something up on the web, it will use this window. Top right is the shell or command line, and bottom right is where it writes its own code. Devin clones the repo, figures out how to run it using the readme, sets up all of the requirements using pip, looks through all the scripts, and is able to start running the training job. There are a few hiccups where Devin runs into some CUDA issues. Okay, some of you might think that these hiccups are like, oh, it's not perfect, it's nowhere near AGI. But I would actually say it's even more impressive because if it was all smooth sailing, no errors, it would seem like the company handpicked the tries that didn't have any errors. But the fact that they're showing demos with multiple errors and bugs and Devin can solve all of them, I think that's even more impressive. Which is to be expected with open source repos, but it's not a problem. Devin looks at the NVIDIA environment and figures out how to reinstall the packages to make it work. After a few more runs, figure out the correct model names. See, this is what humans can't do. <laughs> humans can't multitask with full focus. Devin is like switching between windows because obviously it's computer code. It can be at the max performance and do multiple tasks in parallel, but we can't do that. Gets the training run working. Here we see training proceeding smoothly. Loss is going down. Looks pretty good. I tell Devin. Look at this part. It's training the AI model and it's reporting in real time what's happening by reading the data. Like if you're using Devin, you don't even have to understand how to train AI models. You can just, you know, read the plain English of what's happening in here. Guys, this, this, is, this is the future. I mean, instead of being pessimistic, like, oh my God, programmers are going to be replaced. Think of this like, what can you do with it? Most of you probably aren't advanced programmers. And now with Devin, you can be. So just think about the possibilities, right? The things you can do and build with AI agents, I mean, it's, it's really, it's really amazing. And again, this is why I'm building the course to really show you how to build and deploy AI agents from scratch, even if you have no programming experience. My goal with the course is to make it simple and easy to follow so that even people with zero Python experience can follow it and build their own AI agents. So again, if you're interested in that, link in the description. Looks pretty good. I tell Devin to wait as the training job runs. After about an hour, I come back. Great, please wait for now while it runs. Yeah, I'm not sure why that prompt was necessary. You may set your status to wait for me. No need to monitor. Oh, okay. By default, I guess it, you know, reminds you every few minutes what's happening, but you can tell it to like, okay, chill out. When the AI model is being fine-tuned, you don't have to report every two minutes or whatever. After about an hour, I come back. Ask okay, look at this. This is the status. Devin is awaiting your response or type exit to end session, session will end automatically in 24 hours. They didn't say what LLM it's using, but I assume it's 
GPT-4 or Cloud3, or maybe some one of those like code specified LLMs. But obviously it's auto regressive, takes the prompt and completes the next tokens. It doesn't have the ability to like invent a new goal. So you don't have to be worried about AI agents running everywhere. Ask Devin, hey, how's the training going? Devin helps me look. A few hundred steps are done now and everything is still proceeding smoothly. Looks great. Thanks Devin for helping me set up my training run. So literally anybody can fine tune their own AI model, but the fact that you don't have, like you don't have to have any experience to build something with Devin, just oversee it. A year from now, why, why am I saying a year from now? Like a few months from now, <laughs> all of us will have teams of Devins or AI agents working for us. So we will have our programming team, we'll have our research team. I mean, obviously it depends on what you're doing, but we, we will be, all of us will be like CEOs of our small little AI agent companies. It's a lot to be excited for. Now let's look at the last demo and let's see if this one is even more impressive. We even tried giving Devin, <laughs> okay, dude, this is crazy. This is crazy, man. No way. Like this is an infinite money glitch. They have an AI agent that can do real jobs on Upwork or Fiverr. Like is the, <laughs> is the simulation breaking? Guys, I don't know, man. Hey, I'm Walden, one of the developers here at Cognition AI. We were playing around with whether or not Devin could start a side hustle on Upwork. So here's actual real job from Upwork where the client wants to set up this computer vision model, which actually looks quite interesting. seems very difficult to set up. Um, I'm not sure how I would start doing this, but you know, you give the task to Devin and ask Devin to figure it out. Guys, let's be honest. 99% of us would not know how to do this. We could figure it out in a few days, maybe a week or two, but this is the difference. Instead of having to figure it out and taking a week, you give it to Devin, your AI programmer agent, and it is, it is done in a few minutes. Like, I mean, hopefully they make Devin open source, but I doubt it because there's so much profit to be made. Like an average software engineer is like, what, 130 grand a month, uh, a year? Ra okay, let's round it up to 10 grand a month. They could charge 1K a month for Devin. It's already 10 times cost reduction. Obviously they will charge a lot less probably, but like how many people want this? I want this. The fact that they can easily charge $500 a month and the human only works eight hours a day. Devin can work 24 seven and get accomplished. Man, I don't even know. Doing this, but you know, you give the task to Devin. And by the way, this is a very like vague prompt. If you're wondering like, are they giving like detailed instructions? Look at this. <laughs> this is super vague. Hello, I am looking to make inferences with the models in this repository. This is as general as it gets. Kick off. Devin immediately. All right, I'll start by checking out the repository to understand how the models are set up and what's required to run inferences. I'll keep you updated on my progress. Just to clarify, do you have any specific images or data you want to use? So this is a good question. This is like when you use perplexity, the pro version, it sometimes asks you for a clarifying question. So this is kind of the similar. Goes ahead and you can see it sort of starts setting up the repo. It actually runs into some issues here with the versioning. So if you watch how Devin deals with it, Devin's actually updating the code to make these things work. Okay, so it ran into an error because of an old version and then it updated the version of PyTorch. But the fact that it's autonomous, this is the big part, it's autonomous. It's, you don't have to press enter or approve every single step. I don't know how many employees the company has, obviously we've seen multiple different people. So I assume it's at least like 20 to 30, but that's still a small startup. The fact that a small startup can create something, I don't wanna, sound crazy, but this might be the biggest AI release this year. And we've seen S Sora, we've seen Claude Free, Gemini Ultra. This feels the biggest because it's actually able to do things. I mean, right now it's doing a work, a job from Upwork that's paid. Hopefully at the end they show how much money it made, but wow. Loading and importing packages. You can see that actually downloads images from the internet to run through the model. You can see here that there are actually some issues that come across. However, Devin knows how to handle these things. Devin kind of pushes through. I mean, it would be really fascinating to see like the behind, behind the scenes inside of Devin, how it works, like the way it's stitched together using these four different windows. Also the prompt engineering they did behind the scenes. And if you look closely, Devin's actually doing print line debugging here, where Devin is adding these statements to track where the data flows. And Devin continues to do this until Devin understands how everything's working and actually then updates the code with the fixes after removing print line statements. Devin continues this pattern of fixing code and running it again. 
until it runs the image model across all these rows across the world. A randomly noticed check among all the India. And we can ask for a report from Devin. Okay, so this is a different UI. So I guess it's split it into two. Shell browser editor and planner. So yeah, okay. Four uh, parts of Devin. Shell is the command line where it executes commands and like installs packages. Browser where it browses the web. Editor where it writes the code and, you know, build, debugs the code, whatever. And then planner, this is this, where it creates a step-by-step -step checklist. And as you can see, it's in progress. Four are, I mean, three are checked and then two are unchecked. So at all times it can see the progress it made. I mean, this is, this is excellent, man. At which point, Devin sends over some sample images of roads with damage marked out, explaining Devin's work and the different kinds of outputs of the model. Good job, Devin. Did they say how much this is? 22.83 average, okay, you probably can't see this under my webcam. 22.83, so $23 an hour. And given the fact that Devin can do an hour worth of work in, let's say five minutes, okay? Let's round it up. Multiply this by 12, we're already at like close to $300 an hour. So just by running Devin on Upwork jobs, this is like true passive income, guys. I don't even know. Just maybe I'm dreaming. Maybe I'll just wake up in a moment. Okay, for more details on Devin, check out our blog post here. We're lo gonna look at that. So both the Collison brothers, the co-founder of Stripe, are behind this. Very, very interesting. So many people, everyone wants access to Devin right now. I mean, as I said, like it's literally blowing up in real time. 12k followers. How many was it? It's literally like, I feel like 10 minutes ago, it was like a 10.5, no? This is really revolutionary. By the way, if you appreciate the super fast real-time news, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. So let's look at the official blog post. We've had advances in long-term reasoning and planning. So this is one step closer towards AGI because current LLMs can't do this. Devin can plan and execute complex engineering tasks requiring thousands of decisions. Devin can recall relevant context at every step, learn over time and fix mistakes. I mean, this is already smarter than most humans. I mean, I don't mean to be negative, but it feels like a lot of people don't even have long-term reasoning and planning. Finally, we've given Devin the ability to actively collaborate with the user. Devin reports on its progress in real time, accepts feedback and works together with you through design choices as needed. Okay, so we've seen these demos. Wait, there's more? This is a crazy title. AI trains an AI. Okay, so I guess there is not really more details here. Let's look at what Andre Karpafi perhaps the greatest AI researcher of all time thinks about this. Well, of all time is kind of unfair to the pioneers, but let's say of this time, of our, our generation, right? Automating software engineer. In my mind, automating software engineer will look similar to automating driving. So this is the, f what, five stages? First, human writes all the code manually. Obviously, that's no longer the case. Then GitHub Copilot auto-completes a few lines. I mean, every, prog every, every serious programmer is already using Copilot for 10 bucks a month, complete steal. Then ChatGPT writes chunks of code. Okay, it's already happening. Then you move to larger and larger code diffs. IG Cursor Copilot. Number five, Devin, is an impressive demo of what perhaps follows. Coordinating a number of tools that a developer needs to string together to write code, a terminal browser code, and human oversight that moves to increasingly higher level of abstraction. There is a lot of work, not just on the AI part, but also the UI UX part, as I said, impressive four window uh, UI. How does a human provide oversight? What are they looking at? How do they nudge the AI down a different path? How do they debug what went wrong? By the way, guys, this is V1. This is version one of Devin. It's only going to get better from now. It is very likely that we will have to change up the code editor substantially. In any case, software engineering is on track to change substantially. And it will look a lot more like supervising the automation. As I said, all of us will have teams of programmers six months from now, guaranteed. While pitching in high level commands, ideas, progressions in English, all programming will be done in English. It's kind of crazy. So if your English is not up to the level, improve your English. Now, Aravind Srinivas, the CEO of Perplexity, also had something to say. This is the first demo of any agent, leave alone coding that seems to cross the threshold of what is human level and works reliably. Isn't this the definition of AGI? It also tells us what is possible by combining LLMs. Guys, is this AGI? How long will we move the definition forward until we say something is AGI? Like this is certainly software engineering AGI. Obviously it cannot do everything. It has no like physical realm understanding. Surely this is a software engineering AGI. Let me know in the comments, am I going crazy? Like, I don't want to overhype stuff, but 
human level and works reliably. That is the definition of AGI, man. It also tells us what is possible by combining LLMs and tree search algorithms. You want systems that can try plans, look at results, replan, and iterate till success. I'm like I'm actually speechless. And if you appreciate the AI news, and if, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.